Dear Masi, I have a question about the deep shame I hold for being cut. It is so toxic and permeates throughout my life. How can I move past it? Dear Anonymous, Shame results when our inner critic judges us harshly, most often about things we've had little or no control over. These judgments come from the negative or abusive messages imposed on us as children. Shame doesn't just criticize our behaviors, but something more integral, our worth as human beings. For this reason, it can impact all aspects of our lives. Cutna or female genital cutting stamps shame on the body. As kids, we don't have the capacity to understand why a confusing and painful thing is happening to us. The taboo and secretive nature of the practice reinforces the shame. So how do we begin to resolve shame? There are many paths to healing. First, begin to intentionally cast a compassionate gaze upon yourself. View your inner shamer as a childlike protector who functions to keep you feeling small and worthless in order to avoid further harm. Thank it for its diligent work and remind it that you've grown up and that you have other resources for feeling safe. Seek out a trauma therapist who can help you work through the Kutna. Next, debunk the myths you've learned about your sexuality and body. Most of us have learned that our genitals are bad or wrong or dirty. If we don't shame our elbows, why would we shame our vulvas? And lastly, talk to other Kutna survivors or listen to their stories. This will remind you that you're not alone and not to blame. Anonymous, healing from shame takes time and effort, but it's possible. I wish you all the best in this journey. Masi.